Hey team, welcome back to my channel. This is Scott Johnson of Software Nuggets. I am going to be showing you some of the features of this great tool, DB Forge Studio for SQL Server. If you use Microsoft SQL Server Enterprise Manager, you know how it manages the database and allows you to type in SQL. DB Forge is a full-fledged IDE that performs the same types of action, but adds a little productivity boost to each operation. I'm going to show you several features and you will quickly be able to see the power. Download this app. We get a 30 day license for free to test it out. Select a install folder. Check or uncheck all the file extensions you'd like to use. Click the install button and then DevArt will install DB Forge onto your computer. Don't worry, it will run side by side with SQL Server Enterprise Manager if you have that installed too. DB4 Studio 2022 has been installed. Watch and learn the next evolution of managing SQL. Look here, AdventureWorks 2019. That's a popular training database. Right away, I see a standard set of folders. Let's start with table. Notice that we have 78 tables, department, columns, all the way down to use by. This is pretty standard. So we have our columns, primary key, constraints, depends on DBO name. Notice here, this table, departments, is using a user-defined data type. And notice it's saying this table depends on that. Use by. This table, department, is used by these other resources. That's very informative to give us a heads up. If I alter this table, other resources might be affected. Hence, I might have to alter them too. Let's double click on this table name and then pull this window out. Resize it. These buttons in the corner allow you to be in split mode. Notice that we have a zone up here and a zone at the bottom or in full mode where it's just all on one page. Each of these tabs have certain information, columns, strengths, indexes, statistics, triggers, the storage, and the data. In data mode, we can move the columns around we can actually filter the data. I want to only manufacturing, all of them. And a super amazing feature is we can actually group the data right here. Click on that button, pull a column up there, and notice that we did a group by. Let's close this window down. Let's export the contents of one of these tables. Right click and then say export data. There are 14 different formats that we can use. Let's first produce a common delimited file. Notice I'll say next, then I can select more than one table, next, then export, show the open folder. That was pretty easy. Here it is exported to SQL and JSON. Here is another time saving feature. Go to generate scripts. CRUD. Let's go to a new SQL window. Notice in just a mere second, we have a select statement, we have a insert statement, we have an update statement, and we have a delete statement. They are considered the CRUD operators of a database. Here is another productivity tool. Right click on department, go down to generate script, go down to insert update store procedure to a new SQL window. Notice this is like the merge statement. Here you can see we're going to look for it. If I find it, I'm going to update it. If I don't find it, it's an insert statement. That's one less store procedure you'll have to write. The next feature we're going to look at is Snippets, Tools Snippets Manager. Now, when you get a copy of this program, it comes already preloaded with 40 to 50 snippets. These are little routines that generate source code for you. They are a true productivity tool. Now, let me just give you just one in general that we always do. I'm going to do it long-handed first. How about select star from? Now, you have done that command a thousand times. Or, now we can say SSF and hit the tab. So this is what a snippet is. Something that, you know, just takes the tediousness out of typing in something that is so trivial. 
as you get better with programming, what's going to happen is you'll end up writing a CTE. Notice they have a CTE. So come in here and say CTE and hit tab. Notice it gives you the basic structure of what a CTE command looks like. Now I've already rewritten this and to make it look like it should. And notice it just follows the same principles as the snippet. Now all I have to do is highlight this and then hit execute. And guess what? We got 31,000 rows. Let us create our own snippet. So come up here and say new snippet. And then what we're going to call this is select information schema tables. And let's put an S on the end of that. And I'd like to call that as a shortcut SIST. Now this right here will use information underscore schema dot tables. Now what we have to do is we have to think about what we want that to do and be able to repeat that every time we use it. And here's my snippet. So I'm going to say declare at table name equals varchar20 and then notice I say dollar caret inside the single quotes. Notice caret is one of my predefined fields. What this means is when I go to execute this snippet See, in between these quotes, that's where my cursor will be. It'll be waiting for me. And then I'm going to say select star from information schema dot tables. I'm going to alias that as T. And I'm going to say where T dot table name like whatever I type in there. Let's go ahead and save that. And then let's uh, execute that. So what did we say? Search information schema tables hit tab and I want to look for HE and then watch this right here so we'll be able to use that from here to the end of days this is a beautiful little snippet uh, this is something that you can have forever you just have to have the creativity to create a snippet of the things you just are tired of typing in it's a true productivity tool I hope you enjoyed these three samples. Let's write our first query builder example. To begin, just drag and drop each table you'll need into the query builder canvas, which will build a standard select statement. We're first going to do production products. Just drag that there. And then notice here I'm going to click on this line and I want to call that an alias of PP. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and select some columns. So I want to get a product ID. I want to get name, product number, about a safety stock level and color and reorder and standard list price. Uh, I think that's good. And you know, I can come and hit execute now and see my data. Our next table that we're going to add to this query is going to be production dot product inventory. Drag and drop that. Notice we have a relationship between the two. I'm going to use the columns location ID, shelf, bin, and quantity. And let's run that again. And notice that we have some additional values to look at a little later. Let's make an alias of this called uh, PPI, Production Product Inventory PPI. And now we are ready to add our third table, Purchasing Product Vendor. Notice there's a relationship between these. And we're gonna call this one uh, PPV, that's an alias. Let us select a few columns. How about the average lead time, the standard price, the min order, the max order? I think that'll do it. And now we can add our last table, purchasing vendor. Just drag it from the database explorer, drop it, and notice the relationship is available. And from here, we would like to use the vendor name, their credit rating, and how about their status? Let's execute this. And notice we got a bunch of data. We just finished dragging and dropping in the tables. We then select our fields, and that is in selection. Now join are these lines. We don't have to worry about that. It's automatically done for us. Now we're ready for the where clause. Now we're going to say plus here, and now enter a value. Notice these are a list of all of the fields that I have selected above. So now we can come in here and say like, well, I like the uh, standard cost. Notice that it goes there, uh, is greater than zero. And now when I re-execute that SQL statement, 
Notice we only have 183 rows. It used to be 1000 plus. And there you have it team. This video is now complete. I hope you saw a thing or two from this video about DB Forge. Overall, this is a very great tool to have in the toolbox. I love the IntelliSense and the snippet functionality. And the user interface, well, it was very easy to use. DevArt has a 30-day demo version if you want to check that out. Well, that's it for me. I'll see you back in my next video. Adios.